Did you know that you can actually search the Family Search Memories Gallery for photos and documents and things that might be related to your ancestors or give you social context for the times that your ancestor lived? Oh, that was mouthful. <laughs> well, but you can, and I wanna show you how. Howdy, I'm Devin Noel Lee with Family History Fanatics, and I love online genealogy research. But I also love searching for photos in a way that I hadn't expected. And as I was preparing an earlier video, I discovered that you could search family search photos, the ones that you hadn't put up for really cool details. So let's jump in. So in the family search memories section, you can come up to memories and come to gallery, and then you're going to see all the pictures that you've uploaded. But have you ever considered clicking on the find tab? That's where we're going today. Now, in the Find tab, these pictures are uploaded. Some of them are uploaded by you, but most of them are uploaded by other users. They have put in titles and descriptions and dates, and they've tagged them in order to help other people know more about their ancestors. So yeah, you can find those pictures by going to individual profiles, but this is a great way to dive into other pictures especially if you have relatives that served in a military unit, search for the military unit. Let's go through some of the other things you can look for. So first, what you need to do after you click on that Find tab is to type in a search term. And then you're going to either search text or you're going to search topic tag. So let's go through a number of search terms. So let's do the HMS Defense. It was a ship in Her Royal Majesty's Navy. Click on search and you're going to see a number of results. Well, we'd love to see pictures and this person did a great job by putting all sorts of description here. Good job. Thank you so much. Now it's connected with this relative, but if your ancestor was also connected to that ship, then you can go ahead and type in their name. I'm going to just pretend, but let's say it was George. Maybe it was George Barton. Then I can click that person and I can attach them to the story as well. How cool is that? And then this picture is going to come into my ancestors for profile. There are also some documents that people have captured. This looks like it was a Wikipedia page. I don't recommend doing this necessarily. I would recommend this be a URL rather than a snapshot, but Lots of great stuff. Oh, look, the prison hulk. Look at these great pictures that somebody's uploaded, but nobody has figured out who this really goes to yet. So if your ancestors served on this uh, ship, or maybe they were even prisoners on this ship, then make sure that you tag them. So let's do something else. So I'm gonna type in Aggie Bonfire. Not every term you search for is going to be helpful. We're going to search for Aggie Bonfire, and there is a picture that was uploaded from 1972, taken by David Paul Gallego, and it gives some details about it, and the first row are these individuals. But notice it's not tagged to somebody yet. So, if your ancestor happens to be an Aggie and it happens to be any of these individuals, you can come in and tag that picture to them. Now, be careful. This is from 1972. It could be that these individuals are living and therefore it's not tagged to them just yet. But go and check out that picture. It could be your family. But <laughs> notice uh, not all of the bonfire pictures really connect to what I'm thinking of, but just go and try a lot of different terms. I'll do another one, Company. I'm gonna try a military unit, Company K, 133rd. And now I'm gonna see lots of different stories and obituaries, civil service, some different cards people are showing. But notice it says Iowa. There's some other ones from other locations. So I might have to filter it to Ohio. And here's a service record. At the outbreak, Company K, this person, and notice it's connected to them. 
Now, my ancestor served in this military unit. I don't know that I want to actually put him connected in here because this is really a story about Robert, his uh, unit member. But if you do find some stories that could share information about your ancestor, it's a really great option to choose from. Now, some people love to share recipes. So you could type in recipes and you're gonna get lots and lots of recipes, but I'm going to type in a specific recipe and I'm looking for either documents or photos about cheesecake. I'm gonna click search and you're gonna see a number of different options. So you're gonna see Grandma Merrill's cheesecake and now we know it's Effie Merle Miller. And you can actually uh, flip through each one using these bars right here. So this is another one. Cheesecake recipe, here's the recipe and a picture of the cheesecake. Well done, person who uploaded this in 2017, good job. And you just can keep clicking through and see who they're connected with. And eventually I think there's one of mine in here. This is a PDF version, that's great. Go ahead and try specific recipes. Here's an organization. Job's daughter. Look at all of this. Nancy Job's daughter. It just says Job's daughter Nancy. But how many people are in, in that picture? Like, I don't even want to try to count. <laughs> A lot. More than 10. <laughs> but if somebody knows that they're in the Job's daughters, if you will give more information. So it says Job's daughters, Kansas City, Missouri. If there was an event date, that would be really helpful. If they've added any type of content to really describe this picture. I didn't upload it, so I can't add a description. But if the person uploaded it, that went there and added a description, then this would be so helpful. But let's say you wanted to add information to the story. Well, you can do that as well. So you can type a comment like, oh, can you tell me more? Is this 1972? Is it 1962? Help me understand, because I think my ancestor might be in there or, hey, my ancestor's in the third row, thanks for sharing. Lots of different ways that you can communicate. So get in there and try lots of things. Now the next way to search is to search by topics. These are tags that people attach to the pictures, not necessarily searching the title and description of the picture. So let's try gravestone. I'm sure there are lots of gravestone pictures. And notice, I misspelled it. <laughs> Notice the gravestone, grave marker, gravestone photos, and you can see how many people have uploaded that and tagged it as well. But you can go ahead and see this. Now, while you can put in multiple tags, it doesn't always show up with those combinations because people have to have added all of those tags to their images. So if I tried to do gravestone and Smith family, gravestone and Greenland Cemetery, if people haven't created a tag for it or if that tag wasn't used, then I'm going to get results that uh, there's no results. So if I click that off, then it's going to show me Smith family photos. There's six of them under that tag. But when this comes really handy is when you're doing social history research. So let's say you're doing World War II. Notice there's draft registry, registration cards, service certificate, Japan veteran. Let's click on World War II photo. World War II missionary experience. So that's a photo and a story and it's connected to these two gentlemen, handsome devils that they are. Another variation of it. And all through here you can see all sorts of things that can help you connect with the World War II experience. So go ahead and type that in there and you're going to learn a lot of social history of what's happening at that time. And maybe it doesn't necessarily name your ancestor, but you really can get a sense of what was happening during that time. I'm gonna try a couple more tags. I'm gonna try cowboy. I'm gonna turn this off and do a search. <laughs> and look at this. So we have pictures of actual cowboys. We have drawings. We have going to a rodeo. And this is what I'm talking about, pictures of living people. If you don't mark that picture as private, 
then your family photos are going to be searchable through tax. So make sure you go and consider whether you really want everybody to be able to find this based on the tags and description. I don't want you to avoid adding tags and descriptions when all you have to do is just mark it as private. So this video was designed to just be a quick overview of something that I discovered while I was doing family search. If you find some other really cool features on the different platforms and websites that you're using to climb your family tree, let me know so we can share those discoveries with others because we just want this to be a fun, fun journey. Now, if you want to learn more tips and tricks on how to use Family Search, be sure to check the playlist above. And if you're ready for something else, then see if this one might suit your fancy.